Welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Look, I have your new Outback 335 CG toy hauler travel trailer here. Let's take a look around your beautiful new camper and uh, answer some questions that I know you probably are going to have. Along the back, we've got the double locks on the cargo door and prepped and ready for a backup camera, a ladder to access your serviceable walkable roof, and there is a plug right there for your 50 amp service coming along to the outside kitchen you are going to have this beautiful refrigerator outside sink hook up for tv pull out for your two burner cooktop You've got a little access panel some pull out drawers and the lighting you're going to have a little push button so there'll be a button on that light cap and just push it and away she goes power awning going all the way down to the front take us to the pass-through storage with the slam latches and the magnet to hold the door up and in place huge pass-through storage we've got your 15 amp controller for your solar panel and the on and off disconnect for the solar we've included in some electrical adapters and sewer hose and on the other side you can see your big 50 amp power cord two lithium batteries are installed the two 30-pound propane tanks are full. She's ready for a bath now. We've got your power stabilizer jacks. So we're going to have an on and off button, extend and retract for the power tongue. And then for the stabilizing jacks all around, there is a manual override for the tongue jack underneath this little plug if you need it. I have a great little video I'm going to send along with this one explaining more about it. Underneath here, we've got a quick battery disconnect. There is a dial hiding right there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that on. And that is going to illuminate the front fiberglass cap with the LED lights. Coming around on the other side, we have that pass-through storage once again. And coming around, we have a utility door here that is going to give us access to the Whoa, that's bright. Outside shower with the quick connect blue coil hose. There is a lovely grid pattern here for the dials, and that's going to allow you to access your fresh water uh, holding tank, runoff of city water, sanitizing the systems, winterizing it. We've got the Key Express system that is for your cable and satellite, and this little blue guy here that is for the connection up on the roof if you want to install a satellite. You can bring all of those utilities up and in through this access port. And then, of course, we have our uh, black tank sewage flush for when it's time to dump our holding tanks. Underneath, there is a little white pipe that is for the drain for your freshwater holding tank. And then we have access to the gray and black let off. Oh, I love your new camper. She's so pretty. Coming along the side here, you're going to have the secondary gray tank that's for your kitchen and that pull outlet. Kind of strange little rectangles, the little black guys there. Those are going to be for the vents, high and low, for the gases that could accumulate in a garage space like what you have. So let's go up these Lippert stairs and see the beautiful inside. You waited so patiently to see the prettiness of the inside of the camper. So we'll start at Center Island. Got a nice little drying rack roll out. Pull faucet. And then down below, we've got some great storage with a garbage can, pull out drawers. Your refrigerator has this little push tap. Boop. And that's going to unlock your 12 volt fridge and freezer up above which is very cold again if you find a light switch and you can't or a light and you can't find a switch for it it's going to have a push button tab on it and we have our exhaust fan and lighting above our three burner cooktop with the glass cover so that's going to flip over once and one more time now we've got a backsplash and access to the three burners that you can turn and click to ignite and oven down below nice place to hold the paper towels 
30 amp microwave and big pantry up above and above our heads we have a vent and skylight let's go inside our garage space flip down on the sofa that does lock and latch away nice big bunk there are and we'll go find them here but there are extensions that go on here to make this ramp handicap accessible and in beautiful stainless steel um, cover for or dovetail excuse me for that link between the camper and the door and then you do have cable and satellite in here as well as utility outlets if you want to put it in the TV boost seating there is a switch right up here and that's going to illuminate underneath the booth the table does drop down it has a little lever right here that allows you to unlock it so that way the bar can come down and we can squish the table so we can make it into a sleep space and the booth seating we have these velcroed on back cushions and then you can just lift up and it is hinged for the storage under the booth and there as promised are the extensions for your ramp and then we have our theater seating the recliners are extended out through the handle right there along the side electric fireplace we're going to be able to go through and turn that on oh. I guess I gotta plug us in. I'm just running off of batteries. Silly me. And the um, CD, DVD player, AM, FM. And nice big pantry when we first walked in for hanging closet, fuse panel, and breaker box down below. And then we have our AC system run through the ceiling. That's all ducked and our center island above has that skylight and there is a pull blind that we can close that off cabinets above the tv is hiding the business into the camper so that's going to allow us to turn the heated blankets for the batteries on it's going to allow us to check our tank levels if we, it's time to dump Turn the water pump on if you're running your onboard holding tank with water. If you're using city water, don't turn it on. It's going to be bypassed. And we have our tank heaters for our fresh and our black and gray tanks. All of our ceiling lighting. The night lights are going to be these little... Now I'm going to quick show you one real quick. That little one by the booth. So you have some little night lights. And then all three slide outs and our power awning. Down below is going to be the thermostat for our tankless water heater coming into the master bedroom Ooh. and we also have a thermostat here for our AC and furnace all right now we're into the master bedroom our wardrobe slide out huge bed the AC up above and that has its own thermostat and some more lighting place to hook up a TV if we want and then you're going to have little cubby holes on both sides of the bed and some huge storage underneath that bed as well. Coming into the bathroom, foot flush on the porcelain toilet. You do have a fan vent in the skylight and another skylight in your shower. There is a lock and latch on this. This door has magnets on both sides to help seal it closed, especially during transport. It is a little tough to pull apart, so uh, just be warned. <laughs> Put a little oomph in it. Nice, beautiful medicine cabinet. And storage underneath the sink, as well as access to your water lights. And again, we do have that AC ducted in to the bathroom. All right, guys. I'm going to talk with you again soon, but this is your new Outback 335CG Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. Can't wait to hear how much fun you have in it. If you have any questions, give me a call. April Welch at 231-638-7750.